Our lightsaber company is falling behind. So arguably 2018 was the year of NeoPixel lightsabers. I made a previous video about this. Feel free to look for that in the channel. But yeah, I mean, this is a relatively new technology yet, even though it's been around for a few years now, but NeoPixel really rose to prominence in about 2018 and it continues to grow in popularity to this day. So NeoPixel lightsabers are highly customizable. They're very, very bright. So they have these NeoPixel strips inside the blade itself, and it's a removable blade. They're somewhat durable, and uh, really mainly one of their biggest downsides right now is the price point. They tend to be more expensive than lots of other lightsabers, but um, you know the price is coming down, and there are some companies making uh, very you know more budget-friendly NeoPixel lightsabers, and I'm sure we'll continue seeing more and more of that. Now, that said, you know, this is a very disruptive technology within the lightsaber community, and some of the major custom saber manufacturers haven't adopted this technology yet. So um, I don't need to name names there. It's just, you know, it, it's pretty much a fact that there are some of the larger custom saber companies that don't do this yet. And, you know, some of them have talked about uh, wanting to do this in the future or just, you know, they've stated that they're in development, that they would like to incorporate that this technology into their lightsabers, but they still don't do it yet. So are these companies being left behind or especially the ones that haven't even mentioned anything about adopting NeoPixel technology into their sabers? Are these going to be left behind? Well, there are a few aspects to this, right? So, okay, if we look at stunt sabers, stunt sabers are lightsabers without sound, like the ones that I have here. And these aren't really in direct competition with, um, well, really sound sabers at all. Now, maybe there's a little bit of overlap between the two, but a lot of times people are getting a stunt saber because it's very affordable, it's good for dueling, and it's quite a bit less expensive than other lightsabers. So um, it seems like the sales of stunt sabers may stay consistent, you know, despite this, this disruptive technology. Now, as far as some of the other sound sabers go, NeoPixel, it just... It's superior, okay? So it has it has more functionality. There's different visual effects. There's lots of different possibilities with NeoPixel lightsabers that uh, th it's just not possible with some of the previous technologies. So some of the other sound sabers are probably going to become a bit outdated over time. Now, we're still sort of in a transition period, and... Um, and nevertheless, you know, the demand for NeoPixel lightsabers, these highly customizable lightsabers that have the NeoPixel strips inside of the blade itself, you know, the demand keeps going up and up. And the price does seem to be coming down a little bit, uh, just simply because we are starting to see budget NeoPixel lightsabers on the market. But yeah, even so, um, you know, some of the custom saber companies definitely offer NeoPixel lightsabers, but other major manufacturers don't offer them yet. Presumably they will at some point. But one of the major downsides of NeoPixels, um, NeoPixel lightsabers, is they can be a little bit more labor intensive to create, and um, sometimes they can end up being in short supply because of that. Um, creating the blade just uh, takes a little bit more uh, to do that, or at least that's what some of the companies have talked about. And so that might be one reason that um, some of the major custom saber companies haven't adopted the technology yet. And just, you know, anytime you have something new, uh, people don't quite know what to make of it. And it does seem to be a technology that will be here to stay, though, because it's very popular in the lightsaber community. And people really like bright lightsabers, and it's definitely, you know, some of the brightest lightsabers out there. So what do you guys think about this topic? Do you think that some of the major custom saber manufacturers are getting left behind? Or do you think it's more that they're sort of strategizing their entry um, into this market and they're sort of strategizing their use of this new technology? Feel free to comment below.